Okay, we're gonna get right into it. Uh, get right into the origins. All right, so here we go. This is how we all started. Now, this is like your pupil, the void, okay? I'm trying to get this, this like centered on, okay. <laughs> so this is black, okay? And the light that comes out of the void, okay? Now, this is the void. This is the perfect just stasis balance of positive and negative, okay? So it's neutral. There's no hot, cold, everything's the perfect Goldilocks temperature, everything, okay? <laughs> no movement, no nothing, it's just stasis, okay? So the electric, the masculine shoots forth, okay? Now this is positive and negative together, so it's neutral. Now the electric, the positive shoots forth, leaving this Feminine, negative, magnetic. Now there's a separation, okay? So this is just like the color wheel, okay? So so I'm thinking the light that comes out, it has to come from the centered balanced, okay? It can't be a polarite, it can't be red, it can't be, it can't be it, okay? It can't be purple, it can't be red, it, can't be, it has to be what's at the center of the rainbow, green. Um which is a combination of blue and yellow. And on the color wheel, everything on the opposite side is its complementary color. Then you have tertiary and, all, okay, secondary, tertiary. So we won't get into all that, but, um, so black matter contains, so if you take every paint pigment color of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, okay. Um, you get black, okay? Which is basically the, the overlapping colors are just the primary colors um, overlapping. You get uh, green from yellow and blue and you get purple from red and blue and then you get, um, what's the other one? orange <laughs> from red and yellow so red yellow and blue those are the those are the primary colors then you have secondary colors which are the blending of the two that are next to each other and then tertiary would be a, a primary plus a secondary okay so and you can look up the color wheel if you want and you know those of you who've studied art you know what I'm talking about so um, it's just the basic like first day of art class of um, certain art disciplines like painting and okay so this is matter ma okay physical matter this okay so now now we have light we have darkness we have positive we have negative we have masculine we have feminine so the light if you add all the colors together you get white light so white light contains the rainbow and then black matter contains the rainbow. So both masculine and feminine both contain the rainbow. He is positive electric, so it's white. She's negative, the void, the magnetic, so it's black. Okay, this is the yin yang, the black and white. So for him to burst forth though, it has to be green. Okay, so that's how we start off. Black, green, but simultaneously, when this bursts forth, all these other things happen at the same time because remember, we have to have balance. We have to have, okay, so just the laws of physics and nature and everything dictate that. So when this bursts forth, this green light, which is at the center of the rainbow, I don't know if you can tell if that's green. Okay, so that's green, okay. This simultaneously, this happens at the same time because that's the opposite of the green 
is red. Okay, the Christmas colors, right? Green and red, everything green and red. Um, very much winter colors too, okay? Winter, the void, when we go more into the root system, as above, so below. Okay, so, and you'll see how this, okay, so, and remember, this all, as this is spurting, <laughs> spirit is spurting out, the, all these other things have to happen simultaneously because that's the law of balance, okay? So this green shoots out simultaneously. That red thing, that happens at the same time as the green manifesting itself all the way, okay? This may not end up being even, but I'm trying to make it, ah, now I'm like erasing over the, dry pen that's like it okay so see how it's like it's starting to look like an eye right I'm just like okay solid I'm not coloring it in very well I'm just trying to go fast here so and then what oh I don't have a yellow I don't have yellow ah crap <laughs> okay so well um Well, blue's going to be over here. Yellow's going to be here. Okay, that's how we get this. And remember, this is all hap happening simultaneously because it's just dictated by the law. Okay, I'm just going to use this as the yellow. It's gold, which is perfect, right? This is the one that came with this little dry erase board. <laughs> okay. So, remember, as, so as this green comes out, this all simultaneously happens. The red, that, that. So we have, now we have the primary colors. And now we have like, so that's yellow, that's red. Now we're gonna have like a combination of the both, of the two, <laughs> which this would be the orange right here. Okay. I'll just write that orange. Orange, a range. <laughs> so, and then we have the violet over here. Um, and orange is the complement of violet or purple. So, I am the prize, violet. I am the prize. So, what happens here is now we have all the colors, okay? I, I don't have all the color pens, but okay, just bear with me. Okay, so as it shoots out, all this happens simultaneously. The opposite of the green has to happen at the exact same time all this is occurring, okay? So, and the green has to polarize itself to be, okay, it's the center balance, so to come into its full fruition, it has to spread out into its yellow and blue. And then... This is simultaneously created, so it has to spread out to its polarity, which is the violet and the orange. And then everything has its exact um, complementary opposite color. Okay, now the color wheel, it's perfect, and my chart isn't, and I don't have all, all the colors, so. But what happens here now is there's this... to be, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's like to be balanced, this wants to be over here, this wants to be over here, this wants to be over here, this wants to be over here. So it tries to get over there, but it, so it has to spin to get over there. So now this starts spinning. Okay, now it's like a shock or a vortex. Okay, what happens is 
that's how you get the white light because as each color spins a, it spins around to the point where it creates the white light so every but everything comes from green that's why everything is based on uh, I mean um all eye color okay all eye color is based on green so no matter what it look what color it seems to be it all comes from the green okay which is a combination of that which so it all this all happens simultaneously so it this it forms this eye as it's I'm thinking like as it's spinning around it creates like this vortex okay so then you have this if you can imagine that this is like from the side view of this it looks kind of like a plate okay and as it's spinning it's creating this white light that keeps going up higher and higher and higher and higher and higher to this point this angle okay and then it creates this singularity and you see that um, like if you go to Google Images and, and you type in like a you know a star forming or whatever that's how it that's what it looks like it looks like this is the what you call the accretion so this is like it pulling in all this matter okay and then it has this singular like light and it kind of looks like a ball in the middle because it kind of goes up to this okay kind of like a cross okay so now I want to show you okay so um that's horrible but it's good enough <laughs> now let's I'm gonna go into the cross so that's the eyeball so th that's how I see um, the earth is exactly in my opinion is what they have in the Bible as far as like the firmament because I've had dreams to confirm it and meditation downloads and okay so let me grab the eraser that I didn't grab Okay, so, well, this doesn't erase as good as the other one, the board, I mean, I'll have to use cleaner on this one. Okay, so, um, let's see. So this kind of represents also, you know, just like in Christian terms. Okay, so that's that's this is okay, like the serpent. Okay, the zero point, the serpent, the snake, this is figure eight um this is land this is matter okay the earth the key okay so that's that's the negative this is the positive and i know that mostly like they make it uh like short up shorter up here and longer on the bottom but that's like to represent the body but the more ancient symbol of the cross is symmetrical. So, <clears throat> so we have masculine, feminine. See, he's masculine because he's just the singular. He's just um, electric. She's magnetic. She's the what creates this circuit, this flow circuit serpent okay um 
anything is of the serpent. So that's why she's considered bad and sin and all that. Okay. So the masculine and the feminine together. What's going on here is light and dark. Negative, positive, masculine, feminine. It's all just balancing that. Um, so. Now, this diamond shape. Okay. So we have the cross, right? Um, let's see. Uh, what are we going to do it, I guess? Um, yeah. Now. This represents the feminine. Okay, the X, because this is the light that comes in. If you think of this as an I, Okay, so the, these black X's, there's one right here, one right here. These V's that make up this black X, these are the eyes. See, this is an eye. This represents the side view of an eye, okay? This is the light coming into the eye. 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 It's the tip of the spear. Just like Trump called himself the tip of the spear. The tip of the spear is right here, which is what? The void. That right there. Is the tip of the spear. So the very tip, that's where the light touches the void. So when he says he's the tip of the spear, well, the tip is her, the Divine Feminine. She's the void that receives the light and creation is manifested. So, that's why you see... Um, so, again, over here, this is the light coming in. This is the light coming in. This is the light coming in. And they look like arrows. This is an arrow. This is an arrow or a spear. Sparrow. Spear arrow. <laughs> and if you look sparrows, they're very dark. Okay, like that. Okay. So. why a lot of times you'll see um, like the ancient uh, Sumerian or whatever they are you'll see that and they say it's um, Saturn or like whatever okay it's electricity Okay, and spins this into radiation. So radiation just means like radial, like on a tire, it's spinning, motion, the wheel, radiate. Okay. Now we have motion, we have formation, we have life, masculine, feminine. So she's the void, okay. Just lying there, asleep. He comes in with the electric charge. Okay, now we have creation. 
and I kept getting this thing, which I've only seen basically as a saint's cross or the saint's scepter or whatever. So it's like this. Or however, it's like that in the middle, okay? And maybe it goes up a little bit. Maybe it has a little ball on it. However, maybe it has a little line. Okay, which is basically... So the onk is really the cross. That's like your head, your tuning fork, what you're... Okay, you're catching ether okay this really is like your legs okay but sometimes they they'll make it one solid thing okay this is the figure eight right here the serpent feminine this is the masculine now this, I just, and I'll put that link below. Um, I don't think I shared it so far, but. So off of this piece of cardboard from this diaper box, I had the, and I kept seeing this north, south, east, west sign. Okay, I saw it, the saints cross, blah, blah, blah. And I saw um, the vision on the piece of cardboard because it was torn. It was like white but it was torn so you could see the cardboard color underneath and I shared it on a video. It looked like a bunch of like saints that were like pillars of salt, like golden salt. Okay, anyway, it had this symbol on it, the north, south, east, west, okay. Just like that, just a perfectly symmetrical T and circle around it. Just yesterday, <laughs> And, and this was just, uh, they, it's a recent video that they just posted yesterday. Um, this is actually called the, Ma Bona. And bona, like bona fide, bones, fire, um, ma, of course. So, matter being created, bones, right? Calcium, uh, um, something that can be charred. The, now it's a consumable fire because the electric of the masculine is pure, uh, like lightning, right? But once it strikes a tree and becomes that golden amber fire, now it's a consumable fire. Now it's masculine, feminine. So this is the masculine and feminine. And this is the most ancient one. The symbol is very ancient, goes all the way back to... Uh, I'll put the link to the video below. I think it, I think he was um, talking about the, I think Sumeri, I'm not sure, but it'll be in the description box below. I'm not sure if it's a long one. It's a very good one though. I would, I recommend checking it out. Good stuff. So, Mabona, and Bona is like Bene, like good too. Okay, so anything that's good is of God. So, Bonafide, sanctified, decalcified. <laughs> uh, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to... Oh! So... There's these things called... Okay, jetties, right? That come out... Um, they call them piers or what? Okay, so they have these. Um, I don't know if necessarily piers would be, but these things called jetties. It's to maintain the sand bank and stuff. To uh, okay, whatever. 
So it jets out from the land, okay, out into the water. And they're called jetties. Jetty, okay? Like, you know what I'm gonna write. Like, Jedi. Edie. One of my best friends is named Eden. Both of my grandmothers were named E.D. <laughs> Garden Eden, Garden of Eden, okay? Jetty, Jedi, Jet, I, like all the stuff I was just talking about, the I, okay? And if you, if you think the electric, okay, the jet, jetting out the water, okay, it's just like an I, okay? Um, and then J is really like a Y, so it's also Yeti. <laughs> so it's just encoded in that thing right there too, because that kept coming to me. Jetty, Jedi, Return of the Jedi, Jetty, Jedi, Yeti, <laughs> Yet I. Okay. Um. So may the force be with you. <laughs> uh, I wanted to break down the three, two, one contact thing. That that's just basically. If, um. I think I just called it three, two, one contact, and it's. You can just go back to that video. I don't repost the link and blah blah blah. But you can just type in the search on my channel three, two, one contact. You can just. Um, the link will be in there. Or you could just Google, or, you know, go to YouTube and type in 321 contact and go to the video yourself. It's just an intro to it. And they show in the very beginning a, a red disc. The kids are throwing, one of the kids is throwing a red disc to the other one. And there's a lot of symbology in there. But um, there's a... In the very beginning, there. okay, so it's a frisbee, but it's red, and it's disc, okay, so it's a red disc, and I knew it, that was important because I, I'm like, hmm, red and disc, and, and then right after the, the next clip, the next scene, they cut to a girl spinning around and then throwing the discus, like the Olympic Games, the, okay, the discus. And it, it's a girl, okay, and, and it's very important throughout the whole, the Divine Feminine, the Dark Mother, because you see the kids, they keep going through this, um, like a tire, like a black, okay, so they keep getting reborn through a silver one, which is like the soul, like the moon, like the soul reincarnation, but then there's the divine womb, the divine mother, where we originally come from. The cosmic womb, the black mother, the dark mother, now represented as above, so below. So there's a, a black female gymnast that they keep showing. And I believe she's wearing red as well. So, <clears throat> so they're showing two different... Uh, just like a black tire, like from, you know, rubber tire from a car or whatever. But one was, one's silver and one's black. So they're showing you that it's a magnetic plate that we're on, basically, that's electrified. And that's what gravity is. It's an electromagnetic charge that holds us. It's just a magnet, okay? And we're magnetic and so we, so... Anyway, that's how all that works. And they cut to, like, they show the match being struck, um, a bunch of paper being cut at the same time. So I, I just see that as, like, waking up, uh, remembering who you are, finding your soul family, your breath, the fire, um, uh, also... 
that represents what I was talking about, like the electric and the consumable fire because of the match. Okay, but the electric spark is that pure, and then once it starts burning the wooden stick and all that, then that's the consumable fire, the masculine and feminine together. Um, and then with the paper cutting thing, it's kind of like they're because it's like the paper cutting machine, like if you know that they have in schools, whatever, L little manual paper cutter. And that I see is like the soul family, the breath family. So the, like cloth, breath. Okay, so each piece of paper and it's all white paper. So um, represents the spirit. Okay, the breath. So um, it's very difficult to, right, to distinguish because see you're, what happens is we get cut from the same cloth as far as our spirit, breath, what we call soul family, whatever. And I say spirit or breath family, star family. And all those pieces of paper now get all scattered and mixed up together in what we call like the blood or the flesh family. And there can still be those, you have breath, spirit family within your blood family too, so. Um, they can't overlap and it's kind of like a journey of finding th that piece of paper that all forms back into a whole piece of paper again right um, so that's part of the journey um, and then we realize that all the pieces of paper were taken from the same tree <laughs> the tree of life so um, As above, so below. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Uh, I don't want to get off on tangents here, but yeah, I wanted, maybe I'll post a link too, just so you can, I know people, there's, it's, I don't know, with YouTube and the way everything is, it might be hard to find it. So I'll just post links and make it easy. Um, so I'll post the link of, uh, the lecture and they talk about a lot of really interesting things and like I said the um, the Mabona okay the X or the T in a circle okay the which sounds like Madonna and um, Mabona B's are V's in Spanish B V is it's kind of the same thing so it's like Ma Vo Na, um, or Ovna, right? So, yeah, you know, Ov is birth, and um, Na is like knowledge to know. So, um, Ovna, Ma Ovna, Ma Ovna, or Ma Bona, um having the knowledge of the Divine Mother. I think it's very important to know where we come from. It's a very uh, grounding, comforting. It gets rid of confusion. It, you understand that there's order, there's, there's, um, everything is in a chaotic mess. <laughs> You come from somewhere. You things mean thing. Um, a lot of times, people will say, "Oh, everything's just energy." But to minimize it with the word "just," I think we have to. Well, the the word "just" isn't right. We've that's been all stripped of its meaning too. Just means right and balanced and um, aligned with the universe and natural and physical law. So we have to remember that energies are can be very powerful. Even if they seem very subtle, that doesn't mean that they're not powerful. So we can't just say, oh, everything's just energy and la di da and do what we want because yes, everything is energy and we must utilize, you know, respect the energy, utilize it properly and responsibly. Um, respect right very important asking mother nature 
may I have this, you know, uh, crystal that I found? May I have this arrowhead that I found? May I, mother, may I? Remember that game, mother, may I? You ask mother, because it's hers, it belongs to her, it's a part of her. You ask her out of respect because you love her, you want to be connected with her, you want a piece of that experience everywhere you go. Have a conversation with, like, no, we're just going to, like, no, I'm going to pick this flower. I see that so much, You a, a picked flower, and you know it's like someone just picked it fresh, you just pass that rose bush, and then a few blocks down, and then they get tired of carrying it, and they throw it on the ground. <laughs> um, you know... We need to be better than that. We are better than that. We need to understand that. We need to know that. We need to, we need to share that. We need to be an example of that. We need to challenge, challenge, challenge. <laughs> we need to challenge others to be an example of that. Um, uh, so that's all for now. <laughs> I don't want to go off too much and bore everybody um yeah i got a little wispy glimpse of my yeah the white clouds it's been like that since before sunrise very uh white blanket um so yeah i just wanted to share that not too bad around a half hour okay um i'll leave that there love peace and blessings